Hello, and I greet you today. This is Susan Taylor Shire with a great deal of enthusiasm and appreciation for who you are and what you are holding that is so amazing. I can't say that enough. Why? Because our theme today and this week relates to divine self-esteem, self-confidence, that sense that yes, you are in the right place at the right time, creating the amount of generation of light and love and all that you are as best you can in each moment. And that is a tremendous amount, a tremendous amount. So let me give you an example of what's going on. So energetically, as you know, in this month of a lot of retrograde, there is a sense of tumultuous you know, it's, it's like the, um, the, the tide is changing and there's a lot of sand being brought up. Can you tell I live by the beach? Sand and waves and all sorts as something deeper is emerging for all of us. But it seems a little chaotic at times, doesn't it? Now, another aspect of chaos is what I experienced this week, which was a sense of sort of the cloud, the brain fog, wanting to come over and take my awareness away of moving forward. So um, I've been working on a new project or a project for a new aspect of my website. And it's got a certain amount of challenge to me as it relates to something new. And you know I'm always doing something new. Part of me just loves doing something new all the time. And at the same time, this had a particular kind of challenge to it. And I had so much fun noticing that my brain would shut down. And I would say to Scarlett, my assistant, now what's the next step? Or what's the first step here? What are we doing? And it was so funny because it's just not like me at all. I can really stay on top of things usually. But I could feel this brain fog coming in, trying to sabotage me moving forward, which is what this project relates to. Um, expansion, creation, more love, more greatness coming forward, all of that. But what I had to notice, which was so important that I want to share with you for all of you to glean from, is that in order for me to not fight against this big cloud of sabotage and this big thing it felt like coming over me going oh I don't know what I'm doing I don't know where to start what's it all about and even though I would put a lot of time and energy into it it would just black out blank out so I went up oh, baby steps baby steps keep my self-confidence my divine self-esteem alive by taking baby steps what is the first little step I need to take and do that? The whole project is big. What's the first little step? Take that, feel successful in that, feel a sense of confidence. Okay, I did that. And boy, was it there elation there when it happened. Okay, feel that sense of self-confidence. I can do this. We can do this because I drew other people in to assist. And then take the next step, baby steps baby steps, baby steps. Again, to keep that sense of self-confidence and divine self-esteem alive. So critical these, crucial these days, so we don't get critical of ourselves and what is not happening in our lives, in the bigger life pattern on the world, in the world. Really important. So, if you don't hold that sense of self in yourself at all times of remembrance, this is what I'm doing now. It may feel like it's a baby step, but it's absolutely valuable, significant, and magnificent in this moment in my movement forward and what I am able to provide of myself. And that's all I can do. And to remember, as I said at the beginning, I have divine appreciation for you because it's a lot. 
It's not, that's all I can do. It's, no, I keep moving forward. I keep my confidence level up, you see? So, the key here is taking baby steps, whatever is required to keep that divine self-confidence available to you. How do you tap into divine self-confidence if you don't feel you have it, right? Okay, you're gonna go into your heart, think of something you love so your heart starts to relax and you start to feel loved and you feel a sense of love and support relaxing you, okay? And then you can simply give yourself a phrase, okay, we've got this, which relates to you, your soul, your guidance system, and it offers you the opportunity to draw in others at this level, lots of others at that level, to move through the clouds of the old sabotage mechanism trying to keep you safe and small and protected so you don't get hurt as you expand. So come to your heart, feel supported, give yourself the support. We can do this. We have this. I'm just going to know what my next step is. That's all I have to focus on now and bring that to focus call on your lifelines, whatever you need to do to assist in moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. Okay? So I support you 110, 120% in just bringing forward that self-esteem. We've got this. I can do this. Regardless of all that's going on in the world, in my world, I can take this next step and have it be divinely connected and part of a divine orchestration of something larger and know my contribution is wonderful. So, divine self-esteem, we've got this. Keep that heart supple and supported. Baby steps. I'm with you all the way. And so are your blessed, beautiful guidance system. Those beings that are here, absolutely, to help you with your divine self-esteem.